Greetings everyone and welcome back to a new Gothic video. Now today I actually want to explain to you guys how to install the Othello mod for Gothic 1. Because some of you have asked this in the past and I feel like it, I need to make some time to actually let you guys know how it all works. So basically the first thing I want to mention that even though we're already on the website to install the mod, first thing you have to do is make sure to you get a clean install of the Gothic 1 game on Steam or GOG. I specifically have Steam myself. But don't just install the normal version. Make sure to go to properties. Make sure to go to beta and then use the original release happy anniversary version. The reason why is because Othello already uses some of the plugins that the Gothic mod automatically also has in the non-version and it just makes everything just simply not work. Whereas this is pretty much the rawest original Gothic one that you can find. The non-version actually has been modified. So... What you want to do is go to othellomodmetana.net, that's the website, or you can literally just look up Gothic Othello mod and then the website is the first thing that usually pops up. You want to scroll all the way down, all the way over here. Now you have a couple things you need to download. You need to download both the modification, which will be here. You need to download the localization when needed. In my case, and the case for this installation, you need the English version would be here this is in dutch i do apologize but you can usually just download it and it should be fine and that's it those two things need to be downloaded i'm currently on the desktop the easiest thing you need to do is just extract the files so these are the actual two files you need to have extracted uh, but the drive download specifically uh, has these three raw files you can check it out by just clicking it open you have the raw files and then of course you have the Script. This makes sure that you can actually have the gothic game in English. That being said, though, not everything will be translated to English because it's not perfect, but 95% of the content within the game will be translated. So, the first thing you need to do is, you can use Steam Overlay Fix if you want. I, myself, personally don't care, so I won't be using it, because I don't use the overlay to begin with. You have the Othello 3.0 data system. You basically need to extract this to your... I, I, I can't really show this right now, but you need to install it to your uh, Steam file where Gothic 1 can be found. You can easily do this technically by just going to the Gothic 1 Classic, browse local files, and then here you have it. And once you have the RAR file, you simply just drag and drop it to this, and it should be fine. If you need to replace anything, just do that. Replace the files. Perfect. I'll keep the tab open. The other thing we need to do is to get the script. This is basically to update the current build to 3.6.14. The developer is currently working on the 4.0 version, but uh, yeah, don't know when that is ready. But again, I'll just post it here. You have the data and the system. Replace anything that needs to be replaced. If not, <laughs> that's also fine. Didn't need to be replaced. Fair enough. And the most important thing is to make sure you replace this. I I removed it. Damn it. Go back, please. I'm sorry. The last thing you want to make sure is to actually get the English script. You basically copy-paste it. This one does have, obviously, replacements because you're messing with the language. And that's kind of it. You now need to basically make sure that you open it with the Gothic starter. And then you will see an Othello 3.6.14 EN. This is basically the English patch we've installed. You can't find it again just open up the browse local files when it comes to steam go to system and you will find the gothic starter somewhere around there and then obviously you can just point it to your desktop as a logo you can put it as a shortcut down here whatever you want but one important thing to do before you actually get to play the game is to install the d3d11 renderer this basically makes it that the game runs way better on modern systems and also makes it so that you can pretty much play the game with slightly better lighting settings, that sort of thing. You can customize a lot of stuff when it comes to the game and the D3D renderer, so I definitely recommend doing it. I also needed to do this part of the... <laughs> I needed to do this part of the tutorial because I wasn't actually able to record Gothic 1 due to not having the D11 renderer, which makes the full screen a little bit janky for OBS, so I could see the English menu but I couldn't actually show it on OBS. So in this case, we should be able to actually show it. So what we're gonna do is 
We're going to install it from releases. We're going to download it from here. Oh, I accidentally already installed it. But you grab all this. And again, for ease of access, you just go to browse local files. Make sure you have this open. You go to system. And in system, you paste all of these items into here. And now, now you can basically start the game. The audio might be a little bit too loud. But as you can see, the, the game is in English. And that's pretty much it. The first thing you should be doing is press F11. And then here you have the settings that you can play around with to make sure it all works. You can go to full screen borderless, low latency, windowed. Yeah, I can have a frame rate limit, whatever you want. Improve the shadow quality. I can basically start a new game. I can put, it doesn't really matter because Othello has a different difficulty. That's up to you guys. I'm going to skip the movies for now, just so that we get to the gameplay bit. I'm but as you can see, we now have the game basically running. And that's it. And now you can play Othello the way you want. I do recommend maybe installing a texture pack. I don't I don't know if Othello actually has this automatically. I wouldn't be able to answer you this, but I did use a texture pack myself. Uh, but there are so many ways to just still customize the game. As you can see with shadows, for example, right now I use full and you can and it changes stuff. You can get the quality low, you can put it in super high, you can enable V-Sync, you can enable HDR if you want, and you can have the draw distances all on max if you want and for me at least the game still runs fine nothing is going on and you can just enjoy the game with these graphics and the othello mod which is still a very good mod and i can recommend it even though i never really finished the let's play but uh here you have it enjoy thank you all for watching good luck and i'll see you guys Same in the you. next video take care peace